I'm trying to show you Chloe defense. Um, I've just got her set to doing a whole bunch of knees constantly to show you what you could do. So it's plus eight on hit, and if I land one, I tend to go for another knee. So uh, I'll try and show you why here. I'll walk into one, then try to sidestep. Tried to sidestep left, didn't work out for me. Didn't work out there. Let's block and sidestep. Okay, that actually worked pretty well there. Okay, against the wall that didn't work so well. So you can block and move, but then again she's minus eight on block, so you know. Wait, can I back dash? No. See, I even have to block on on my way back. So if you're hit by a knee, you're essentially fucked, right? But the thing is, I just spam knees. Like if someone gets hit by a knee, I assume that they're gonna hit another one because uh, they're a fucking idiot. But if they're just doing knees, you can um, on hit power crush your way out because it's 16 frames and it's plus eight so that means it's gonna hit on like the eighth frame of Kasuya's move unfortunately that's when the armor starts on a power crush so oh you hit me uh, also uh, yeah etc you get the idea however um, Chloe could just do something else instead oh she's done getting her ass kicked she can go for a 15 frame move, and then you're really fucked, because uh, then this happens. Here comes the power crush. Oh, you see? One frame faster, boom, launched. There's me mashing pet the rage art. Doesn't even come out. So, yeah, but fortunately, all her 15 frame launches are punishable. They're minus 13 or minus 17, and she has a 14 frame count hit launcher, which is also minus 14, so that so you can uh, walk in oh, sh that wasn't a punish but you get the idea so yeah that's how you deal with uh, one of Chloe's things uh, let's do other plus eight shit um, other stuff you need to know that plus eight is this so yeah that jumping foot stomp you're not hitting well no are you crouching yeah, it forces you crouching. Okay, so you don't even have access to your power crush now. You still have access to your rage art though. Can that's me trying to back dash. Side step left not working. Side step right not coming out. Yeah, so essentially it's very much the same situation, except now you can't even power crush your way out. And likewise, you may just want to wait and see what she throws out at you and then punish it. If it's uh, a launcher. Power crush. Oh no! What happened? Does that force crouch? Yeah, that forces crouch as well. Oh wow! You can't even power crush your way out of two of these things. Can't back dash. Can't sidestep left. Can't sidestep right. Power crush. Um, because he's only plus seven, I don't think launches will work in this situation either, so, uppercut. Yeah, because it's only plus seven, the armor's going to work here, but probably not in the case of three, four. No, okay, well, even though it's plus seven, you can still get power crush off, probably three's not hitting immediately. So a plate. You can power crush that, yeah. That's me just pressing two by itself. Ten frame button, dead. Once again, when she's plus eight, pretty much the knee is the sensible option because it means you can't move, but if you block it, you're she's minus eight, so you got massive advantage. You take your turn then. The second bunch of lows that they just duck and stay ducking. Don't just stay ducking, okay? Because then this is going to happen. Well, I dropped it, but you get the idea. Right, that's slot one. And in slot two, I'm going to do the launcher. Okay, so I don't know what's going to come at me here. Oh, low parry. Oh, no, I got launched like a fucking idiot. This isn't a natural combo. 
and do whatever it is that you do. Yeah, so just do while standing for, it's basically the same slide punish you've got if you block a slide, or her super even. On hit, that's negative two. Okay, so doing, the reason why that's negative two is because most people expect the double low and it's stopped really easy mix ups like lol hop kick, right? Hop kick crushes crouch jabs. Oh no, what happened there? See, the reason why you beat that there is because you hit her before she's in the airborne frames of the hop kick. So if that was zero on hit, she'd uh, crush the jab because it'd be air airborne on frame nine and the jab is 10 frames, but it's negative two, so you can't do that, right? So every time you get hit, crouch jab, okay? So this will obviously stop the uh, other things. If Chloe goes for a 14 frame while standing launcher, obviously it's uh, gonna be it. Like you don't have to worry about it getting off the ground in time. Yeah, I think the only thing you need to worry about on hit is if she just does two things and you absorb the entire first rip. Yeah, you're not gonna do anything about it. You can parry the second rep on hit, but uh, you won't be able to crouch jab that. But if she does uh, the just frame version, then uh, even on hit, you actually float her. Even if you get hit by the first rep, what, what's the fucking worst that's gonna happen? You eat the second rep if you crouch jab. You're not gonna be blown up by a high kick. I say high kick. Um, although I think because it's negative two and you're doing a crouch jab, there is uh, the possibility that they could just gimmick you with a rage art. And if you crouch jab, you're probably fucked there. Holding down back, yeah. So yeah, the, just watch out when they got rage. There is a chance that that could happen to you. Also, I was curious if you could rage out in between uh, the gaps on hit. Absolutely not. You would have to block them first. But since uh, she's on her ass, you'll probably get a lot less damage. It should be 50 something. If it, yeah, I think if you just hit a regular rage art, it's like 55. But here it's 42 because technically she's airborne. Yeah, that's the regular damage. So you get reduced damage if you try and rage out in between. Um, also, you could be baited. She could just stop. Um, she's minus 13 though, so it does work for some characters. Maybe Jin, Alyssa, Steve. But she's very low. Maybe she'll even go under it. Uh, I'm not going to bother checking though. Oh yeah, I was also curious about what she could do. Um, like, obviously, it's recommended that you crouch jab to stop everything. But, uh, like, and that's on hit as well. But she's only going to get two on hit. She's not punishable. So what if she knew that you were going to crouch jab? She recovers crouching. But what if she just stands up and uh, low parries your ass? So let's just say I record something here. That was weird. Yeah. Um, so yeah, there's the big brain Chloe play. Do a windmill and then low parry. So you need to watch out for that one as well. So maybe doing crouch jab all the time isn't the best. But what the fuck else are you going to do? Sidestep? I don't know. Yeah, I'd recommend attempting to block this. And then uh, just while standing, kick her in the face. That's guaranteed at least. Um, well, even in the case of Kasuya, you know what you're going to do. No, nope. crouch jab uh, does not beat it. Total hop kick material. Um, yeah, so after you're hit by fully crouched down forward one, you are kind of fucked. It's like you seem like you, you have to defend. Your best bet is probably just backdashing. Yeah, I guess just backdashing in the hope that she goes for some weird shit and whiffs. Um, yeah, that's all you really got there. I guess it's really the same situation after you've been hit by something that's plus eight and you know a knee's gonna follow it. Yeah, so really you just gotta sort of hold this. Yeah, rage out works just fine here. Because you can do rage out out of crouch and uh, that'll armor through her fastest mid. 
minus four, and that's a hop kick afterwards, right? So I'll block that. Right? Minus four. Bad, bad example. Jab. Oh no, my jab whiffed. What the fuck? Oh no, my two whiffed. Oh no. You get the idea. So that goes under what puts her minus four. Basically, anything where you see her twirl around like this and slap downwards, that's minus four. So back to forward two, two, one, two, two. You gotta worry about the hop kick after all of those. Um, but yeah, use a 13 free mid, I guess, you fucking dinkus. Down two is plus two. It has no range, so you're not really gonna see it in neutral. You'll probably see this if your back's against the wall. Um, but what you need to worry about in this scenario is her doing back one, which will also crush jabs. And yeah, if you're gonna do a string, uh, this may make your asshole bleed. Has me going for 1-1, one, one, confirmed, just... Oh no, I got my asshole launched. Just one jab, I don't get counter hit. I don't know how fast Kasuya's high kick is. It's slower than his jab, obviously. Yeah, it doesn't force you crouching or anything. 